Hello, and welcome to Zoho Projects. In this video, we'll help you get started with your first project. But before we dive headlong into the workflow, here's a couple of things you might want to know. Portal. This is your unique workspace in cloud. You can own a single portal, but you can be part of many portals. So the first thing you would do is to create a project. First, add a name. This is a mandatory field. By default, you would be the project owner. You can also add a project description. The next important part is the project access. You can choose private, which means only the users that you add to this project can have view and edit permissions. If you set the access to public, even users who are part of your portal and not part of this project can view the updates in the project. For this video, we'll choose private. After you add project, your first project is created. You are then directed to the dashboard, where you will be prompted to add users to your project. Enter a valid email address of the users you want to add to this project. Choose the role hierarchy. A manager can add, delete project users and can create, edit, and delete project activities of any users. An employee or contractor cannot add or delete project users, but can create, edit, and delete project activities assigned to them. Now you have created a project and added users to this project. The next thing to do is to assign tasks to the users and define milestones for the project. Click on New Task. Enter the task name. Choose the task list. Assign users. And most importantly, add the start and end date. This will put the project's timeline into the right perspective. Similarly, you can add milestones for the task list. Take a look at this flowchart. It should help you understand how the milestones and tasks and subtasks get added in a project. A project has milestones, and under these come task lists, which contain the tasks you add and assign. Hope this video was helpful in getting familiar with Zoho projects.